Well, it goes without saying that uh, you, you must have been a big Monkees fan, huh? Yeah. Uh, let's see, for, for everybody else who has not chosen, uh, do not be a despondent. We have uh, Monkees albums for everyone else who has not chosen. All right, now. Dollar, uh, dollar 47 in the clearance bins. All right, now, Esther. Uh, <laughs> oh, they've gone up, have they? Uh, <laughs> Uh, David. Bill Wendell, uh, where uh, is our happy couple going to spend their dream date? Dave, Peter, and his date will be whisked off to Rockefeller Center's snazzy green room in the heart of New York City, New York, where they'll watch a taping of America's fastest growing late night show, Late Night with David Letterman. Very exciting. We're just going. All right, uh, yeah, Esther uh, and Peter, if you come on over here, uh, I know you uh, have a lot to talk about. We're uh, going over to the dream uh, date of a lifetime. Thank you, Bill. Here in the uh, Esther, this is the green room. Where are you from? Uh, Florida and St. Louis. Florida and St. Louis. <laughs> At the same time? All right. I think Esther's done some time. Uh, now, I've just come on in here. This is our actual green room. Have a seat there, Esther, if you will. And uh, Peter, over it. Uh, let me introduce you to your... Here, let me help you with that. Here, you'll have a seat. Let me introduce you to your chaperone uh, for the evening. This is Larry Bud Melman. And uh, Peter, did you have a, a flower for uh, Larry Bud? Oh, uh, Peter. There you go, Esther. We have a... It's uh, going to be my pleasure to... Anything you want. Waiter, could you step in here? Uh, see to it that these folks get the best of everything and go ahead and put it on my tab and, and nothing is too good uh, for you folks tonight. Congratulations, Esther. Uh, we'll be checking back with you during the course of the evening. Peter, nice to see you. We'll be talking with you a little bit later. Fried chicken is good enough. Whatever you want. Have a nice time. And uh, there will be photos and a souvenir album after all of this is over. Uh, my heart is thumping a mile a minute. We're going to pause now, but we'll be right back with Joe Piscopo. Very nice, Esther. Very nice, Peter. See you. We'll pause here. We'll uh, carry out the wounded and the dead and be right back with more of Joe Piscopo. <laughs> I guess when you wake up tomorrow, this will all seem like a dream. Oh, I see. So to make those memories last forever, we have, first of all, the Monkey's Greatest Hits. There you have a Thank copy you. of that. And right here we have your scrapbook of the evening. Oh. Oh. Your dream date with Peter <laughs> Clark. Hey, David. David, where's mine? Oh, we I have a wonderful thing for you. Uh, thank you very much, Peter. It was a pleasure meeting you, and thank you for uh, thank having you, your dream thank date you, with Esther. Esther. Thanks to the studio audience. Also, thanks to Joe Piscopo. Uh, Paul Schaefer in the band, and of course our announcer, Bill Wendell. Tomorrow night, our big Christmas special from SCTV, Dave Thomas and Rick Moranis, comedian George Miller, and a look at Christmas, Christmas customs around the world. Mm, good night. For months now, we have been trying to convince you folks that the viewer mail we read on our program is actual, valid, genuine mail from legitimate, bona fide, unretouched viewers. Even so, some cynical individuals still accuse us of making up the mail ourselves. All right, have it your way. Tonight, because of this protest, we have decided to make up the mail we are about to read. <laughs> the first time ever, this is bogus mail written by members of our bogus staff. I hope you're satisfied. Phony letter number one. 
Dear Mr. Letterman, it says, as the newest writer on your show, I wanted to let you know how happy I am to be on the staff and to tell you how much I've enjoyed my first two months here. That's very kind. There is just one thing that would really make the whole late night experience complete for me. Do you think I could meet you sometime? <laughs> I see the show every night, and it would really be a thrill. I hope this is no trouble. Yours truly, and I hope I pronounce this name correctly, Steve O'Donnell. Steve O'Donnell. All right, well, uh, is he over there? Is Mr. Which one? Is that Steve? Sure, come on over, Steve. Nice to meet you. Have a seat if you are, Steve. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. And, you know, I think I have seen you up around the office. Yeah, around the mimeograph machine. Yeah. Uh, and, and you've been with us a couple of months now? Uh, almost two. And you enjoying it? Oh, it's, it's great. Oh, great. Uh, where are you from, uh, Scott? From, from Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, you have a family back there? Yeah, yeah. Big, big family. Great. Listen, what are you doing for dinner tomorrow night? Uh, uh, nothing. I'm, I'm free. All right. Here's what you do. I'm going to give you a couple of boxes of these late-night fish sticks. <laughs> There, there's, there's 12 to a box. There you go, right there. And uh, I think there's instructions on the back. I want you and your family to enjoy those. Oh, well, uh, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck to you. I'll see you up in the office. <laughs> Little Scotty O'Donnell from Cleveland, Ohio. Nice to meet you. Uh,